Only you can. What happened at Google I.O. 2022? A lot of stuff. In fact, just so everybody knows, I missed a little bit. I missed near the end mm. stuff, but a lot of their beginning stuff, which was, I guess, tech related, <laughs> software related, <laughs> was really cool. But we should really break it down step by step with the how the Verge. Did. <laughs> <laughs> call, I can go right. into yeah, stuff, yeah, but yeah. we'll but, start but here. But Will, you Good best, call. you best get scrolling. <laughs> you best get scrolling, Mo. Will somebody? Google is wrapped up. It's two mm -hmm. hour long. Google, I, well, it's two hours long. But what can we really expect? From it? Yeah, it was a long. Got enough. stuff to do yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, Ryan started distracting me, actually, is what happened. That might happen. I mean, you see the outfit, and you might be distracted. Absolutely packed with news. We heard about mm -hmm. AI, Android, and, of course, a plethora of Pixel hardware. You guys want to know about the hardware? We got a price on Pixel 6a449. Willie Do loves that price point. He thinks it's a value for money play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Google brand, people take comfort. They go, I know that brand. I interact with that brand. Right. Are uh, we talking vanilla Android? You're damn right we're talking vanilla Android, mid-tier phone. I mean, you really don't want to get Willie Do started on the Pixel 6. No. Because <laughs> things start happening. Steam starts coming in my direction. I never He's saw him. steaming so, currently. So aggravated. <laughs> yeah. He used it for a day he came in here. Yeah. He slammed. He smacked. He stomped. It was all the things you can do. Mm -hmm. I was worried uh, for you, actually, Mo, because a lot of it was in your direction. Right, yeah. I was like, I don't know what Mo has to do with it. <laughs> it's definitely not his fault. He's like, you told me Pixel was great. He had no patience. Will was like, he ran into one bug with his launcher, and he just smashed it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So I don't think that's what happened. But. It was close. It felt that way. It felt like we were on the cusp of potentially smashing something. Right. I think Google's going to figure it out. I got a little bit more leeway. Did you see the camera union, unit? Camera union? Union. <laughs> There's the, a lot the of union <laughs> talk, so. <laughs> the camera unit, yes. I. Uh, you mean not on the, six, on the 6A? On the 6A. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, you're zooming in to see that. Yeah, look at that right there. So they got like a... Pill. Yeah, pill they shape. got the pill. They got the pill. It's on the pill. But still, what would you call that uh, that band? I know people had a name for it. Well, visor. Visor. It felt like a visor. I like four four nine as a price. I really That's, like yeah. the cost of these things coming down. Smartphones. Mm -hmm. I know people are saying, but it's a mid range phone. What do you mean four four nine? But it's just they're getting updated all the time. A thousand dollars a lot. It's a lot of money. Uh, Ryan, a thousand dollars for. Don't even get me started on inflation. Ryan. Tell the people about inflation. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, the thousand dollar that that's that's a lot of money for a phone, especially when you you know you could just drop it the next day and your screen smashed. And I, it's uh, yeah, I, the four forty nine. Hey, you get two for one, right? So if you break one, you go get a new one. It's gonna cost you the same mm. amount of money. Interesting. You, are you, you might get an extra one for a loved one. Yeah, and Look you're still that. under a thousand bucks. I mean, yeah. But, uh, well, anyway, so the pill design has got people chatting. It's all the rage mm -hmm. in 2022. Pill-shaped things, including, uh, as we mentioned, the front-facing camera on the upcoming iPhone 14. Yep. This, of course, is the rear-facing camera on the Pixel. Pixels have been, as far as pictures are concerned, they've been capable devices. But you've uh, always liked them. I, 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 I'm, I'm open-minded when it comes to this. Mm -hmm. I have a little more patience than Will does. So. <laughs> I give I give a chance. Yeah. Um, what are they saying about it? Yeah, well, they're obviously focusing on the camera performance, as you would if you were them. Right. Splash-friendly, built-in safety and security. Unlock it with touch, so, yeah, fingerprint is good. Customizable pixel interface. Translating languages in real time. They always like the software, hardware well, they, software integration. They touched a lot on that, the translating. I think they actually kind of open with that. They had the glasses with the translation mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. I saw a few clips of that on social media. Now he's showing the Canadian price for the 6A, so at $599, but obviously that's less in USD. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, like, listen. What do you think about the two tone thing they got going on? At the top? At every it's subtle. Phone. It's subtle. Yeah, it's a subtle little thing, uh, but I like it. I don't have a problem. I would mm -hmm. probably, I would probably just still get the charcoal. I'm charcoal. Not, not gonna lie, but mm -hmm. the chalk color, hmm. it's interesting. We got the gray at the top. Yeah, 
the black on the sides. It's a two tone. It's a stormtrooper effect. So that's a possibility. But definitely, uh, listen, I like options here. What what else do we have for tech specs? All right, so full screen, six point one inch, up to sixty hertz. Okay, nothing fancy or flashy happening there. Twenty by nine aspect ratio, ten eighty by twenty four hundred OLED. We'll take a little OLED. Gorilla Glass three. Mm, HDR Sport, million to one contrast, high brightness mode. They don't mention by the looks of it. The uh, remind me, Will, how you how you uh, rank or rate brightness? Nits. You might you might use nits. Couple of nits. You might use yeah. nits. And people, the people almost forgot that you're a big nit guy. Yeah, they, some would say y'all must have forgot. It's been. Uh, too long over 24 hours of battery life and up to 72 hours of battery life with what with battery saver mode uh what's going on with this chart will that just evaporated there we go with extreme battery saver the oh that's interesting the way they label the battery 4306 milliamp hours uh minimum typical 4410 and of course you have some fast charging in there Six gigs of RAM, 128 storage. You got the Google Tensor Titan M2 co-processor. End-to-end security designed by Google. Well, they got to talk about security and privacy. They're like, yeah. Yeah, Apple. Hey, Apple, you're not the only one who mm. can say the word privacy. We can say that word. End-to-end. We can say that word. Yeah. 12 uh, point. 2 megapixel dual pixel wide camera, 1.4 UM pixel width, F17 aperture. It's decent aperture. That's for, that's for sure. That's, that's a big boy. Front camera, 8 megapixel, F2 fixed focus, 84 degree field of view. Uh, they were talking a little bit about this magic eraser thing, Mo. Did you catch that segment? I did not. Okay. I missed that. A little bit about the magic eras- eraser editing, a little Photoshop. For oh, it's you. like a bandage tool. It might be something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Might be I'm a big bandage guy. Well, for you, for sure. Whatever you show thumb- me, the, <laughs> yeah. the thumbnail. You're yeah. like, Lou, let me show you the thumbnail. <laughs> yes. But look at all this bandage work I did. <laughs> yes. And then you also you like to get going as well with the uh, with the dodge. <laughs> with the dodge. You, you like to get <laughs> yeah. going with the dodge. I get a little carried away with that one, to be and, honest. And <laughs> and then you like to get going with the glow. You'd be like, look at the glow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He would show me the thumbnail. You go, what do you think about the glow? <laughs> yeah. And I say, are we doing the glow again? Glow, <laughs> glow or drop shadow? They they're interchangeable. We're doing a glow again here. Um, so you got all your other sensors. You got fingerprint unlock under display. Fingerprint sensor. We'll take it. We'll take it. I got no problem with it. Um, what, what more can we say? Well, then you you got a a, a a price point, and when we're talking in this range, the price point becomes a feature. In the sense that you kind of start the conversation for the price point and you go, I know I'm going to compromise on something. Right. But I'm going to I'm going to make the decision that that's the compromise I want to make. Now, when you when you look at that price, what do you match up with over in Apple land? You you match up kind of close to These. The, the SE. Yeah. And SE sure ain't looking like this phone. Now, we know it's a power powerhouse, some might call it. Mm-hmm. But it's sure not looking as modern as this phone. Right. So you have a little comparison now. You have a little option now. Uh, let me put it to you, Mo. Mm-hmm. You got around 400 to spend on a smartphone I USD. See. You go mm-hmm. Pixel 6a or you go iPhone SE. I'd be curious what the battery comparison is. Do oh, we... it's a huge advantage over here, right? You got, what was it, 4310? Oh, well, hours? then I think that would kind of... That would make my uh, decision easier. Whichever one has the bigger battery. That's it. That's all it would take. Uh, no, that's not all it would take. Mm-hmm. But everything else, th- I'm already leaning towards this. This is newer. So, which company would you invest in? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling we were going to go down right, this road. Right, you still chewing that protein bar over there? <laughs> what did I tell you before you started? It's a lot of chewing. I'm almost done. Yeah, I know. You got to keep that mic far away because you're chomping and chewing. <laughs> and you're, oh, you're looking for a drink now. I, I could use a sip. Okay, so what do you guys want to do with the taste test? Well, let's finish up. Let's let's finish up Pixel. Let, let's, Sorry, Mo. It's the next segment. Okay, we're going to finish up Pixel here. Why don't I go get a couple cups? I'm not really doing anything You right now. should get a couple cups. I'll finish this too. I'll be back in 20. 20? <laughs> because you're chewing. <laughs> 
All right, let's go ahead and, and go back to some of the other things that came out of Google I.O., including the Pixel Watch. We had seen this thing because mm -hmm. it was... Uh, rumored and leaked. Rumored and leaked. Shout out, Yaniv. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, the Pixel Watch is coming later this year uh, with the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. And what a nice little uh, smooth... Yeah. Sm uh, it looks smooth. I would describe Very. it as smooth. The transition mm -hmm. around the edges and the way that they show the reflection there. It's... Uh, I feel that a shirt... A long sleeve shirt would seamlessly yeah. flow over the top of it. Mm -hmm. And as you reached up to adjust or you reached to something high, it would never snag. It would never get caught. Yeah. I agree with you. I also love how the bands kind of just like blend right into the uh, watch face instead of having like hooks like um, the OnePlus watch has like the hooks. You're talking about like the traditional setup. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So that to me is very cool. Ooh, we have a video to react to, and they are focusing on this edge as well, mm -hmm. just like you were. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, smooth, simplistic, minimal type of interface. Look at the way that clicks to Oh, a little so twist nice. to it. Careful with the music there, Will. <laughs> we're on a, let me tell you something, we're on a we're copyright. On a we're yeah, on a bit of a yeah. copyright streak, so let's take her easy. Let's take her easy, if you don't mind. <laughs> Only if you don't mind. Um... <clears throat> So what were they saying? Go back up there for a second where you just were. Okay, help by Google, your favorite apps Google uh, from Google, like Maps, Assistant, and Wallet. Assistant is really what it's about. Mm -hmm. uh, my kids were goofing with Assistant. Okay. Uh, hey, Google this and that. Right. I just triggered people. Mm. Assistant is on another level. All right? And, and when you have it, you find ways to use it. It can be, it's the most compelling uh, voice assistant, digital right. assistant that I've interacted with. Right. The watch is huge opportunity for that when you have it natively supported mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're talking to your watch. Right. Series a little more hit and miss. Mm -hmm. It's probably improved quite a bit. I haven't used an Apple Watch in a while. Uh, but that's where this thing really explodes because the reason the watch, the smart watch is kind of limited is because you got this capable device on your wrist, but you're still feeling compelled to pull the phone out because mm -hmm. it's not giving you everything you want. But if we can uh, have these uh, uh, key functions that actually act as a replacement for pulling the phone out, whether it's nav through maps or right. something through voice, obviously the health stuff we come to expect. Everything's well, got the health stuff. Well, when they bought Fitbit, yeah. Everybody's got the health stuff. Mm -hmm. Fitbit, of course. Somebody <laughs> was wearing a Fitbit recently. Was it Will? Mm -hmm. Are you back on the Fitbit? Yeah, back to running. I need my step counter. Wow. Yeah. Did you want to talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out in the chat. Back. I will wear this, uh, you know, watch though. This you, Pixel this watch. This one it's, is the one for you? Yeah. That's the it's one kinda for you. It's kind of cool. I think it's the one for me too. You like the, slim, the slimness of it or what is uh, compelling to you about it? Are you asking me or him? I mean, I was looking at Will, but I know he doesn't. Ta hey, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Mo, you want to go first? Sure. I yeah, it's the sim slimness of it, but uh, yeah, also just doesn't seem very busy. I just tell me the time, Whoa. and then when I interact with it, I I'll want to have the other options and stuff like that. But I just a, really like the simple watch you face. You were a little bit aggressive towards your tech there. <laughs> was I? You were. Was that being rude to you some were. people? <laughs> I felt what it was like to be on your bad side. You, you just tell me the time. <laughs> yeah, you. tell me the time. You. That's it. <laughs> you. Oh, he found some glasses here. There, there's the little short ones, which are way better for taste testing. They're like tiny it's, little. It's tiny. They're ones. almost like shot glasses. I yeah. think it's funnier, and it's really for a taste yeah. test. It's all you yeah. need. Um, so Fitbit integration, lovely. You buy Fitbit, mm -hmm. figure out a way to get this thing sorted out. I don't know what happens to Fitbit products. They probably hang around and you have your dedicated trackers, but then there's this convergence going on where you're, you've got all this integration with the Google native product. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's curious what's going to happen, but for sure I am interested in this. I kind of, when it comes to the trackers and stuff, I'm very, I'm always into it. Right, yeah. So I'll give it a crack. Did they mention anything about battery life, though? Because that's why this Withings is champ for me. I, yeah. It's it's a month long. It hasn't 
It's a month long. I know. No, I realize I have many of the features turned off in order to enable that, but that's what I want. Right. And yeah. you know I like options. And some people disagree with the options that I like, but that's the point of options is we can disagree within the same product mm -hmm. and still have it do the thing that we want it to do. Right. That's versatility. That's what I like to call that. Mm-hmm. Well, versatility. The company didn't announce pricing availability, feature details, battery life, or other hardware specifics like the watch's processor, health sensors, or display type. These questions will likely be answered in the fall closer to the watch's release. Okay. Yeah. We just got a little preview and that's it. Yeah. Which is okay. Which is okay. And it falls in line with a lot of the uh, rumors and things going on. And how about this? The next generation of Pixel phones is on the horizon. Here's the first look at the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro equipped with a new generation of Google Tensor. Maybe this is the one for mm. Will. Maybe this will fix his problems. Now, this takes the pill shape to another level. Well, it looks exactly like the iPhone now. Well, with the pill and the hole punch. You mean the I this is the front of the iPhone on the back of the Pixel. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Although, in this, w in this case, since the iPhone is just rumored. Who knows if it's real? Right, right, right. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Apple didn't officially say it. Google officially said it. They said, hey, pill and punch? We got pill and punch. Mm -hmm. Do you have pill and punch? Well, why don't you say you got pill and punch? <laughs> why don't you say it? Well, really, what we should talk about here is how Google actually has this technique where they go out ahead of, they go way in front of the leaks. They get out ahead of the leaks right. and rumors. They just say, well, I mean, not in the case of the watch, but they just say, ah, these will be out in a bit. Yeah. Take a yeah. look. They'll be out in a bit. We'll mm -hmm. tell you more later. But they get out in front of it and get people excited about it. As far as the aesthetics concerned, what can you say about it, Mo? It's the seven. very simpler, simple, or very similar to the last one. Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. stepping on my words today. Yeah. Well, we caught you off guard here. We sat <laughs> you down. You were like, am I in today? Am I out today? You were watching the thing. I said, you got to yeah. be in because you watch the thing. Plus the people, they love you. Mm-hmm. And they feel very uncomfortable, possibly antsy when you're not there. <laughs> they do in the chat yeah. and also in the comments. They say, I just I want to give Ryan the uh, the opportunity to be on the show. He likes being on the show, and I want him to be on the show. It's fun. Well, he is on the show. <laughs> well, right now he's just getting glasses. <laughs> okay, so he has two <laughs> tiny little glasses here, and oh, but, okay. Let's just finish up <laughs> Google I/O. So we have. Uh, a, a sneak peek at essentially mm -hmm. the sev P Pixel 7, 7 Pro, and a sneak peek at the Pixel Watch. Uh, but Pixel A. The, the 6A, 6A is more than a sneak peek. We have yep. the full product. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Pixel Buds Pro, yeah. 199 Pump up the volume with our new Pixel Buds Pro. They check all the boxes with active noise cancellation. Silent seal, mm -hmm. which they trademarked. Long battery life to keep up with you and multi-point connectivity to automatically switch between devices. And Google says that's music to our ears. They have a few colors available. I see like a sort of a coral orange thing. There's like a lime and a sky blue. And then, of course, your typical black charcoal. Right. Somebody uh, uh, in the chat says Ryan crushed it last yeah. episode. <laughs> Did you know that you crushed it? <laughs> Last episode. I had no idea. <laughs> well, you did, uh, Ryan. You killed it. It was fun. Yeah. I had a good time. <laughs> yeah. You killed and you crushed. Uh, so maybe head back to the original article there and just see <clears> what <throat> else we want to highlight. Obviously, active noise cancellation has got to be on these pro. If you put pro in the name of your buds at mm -hmm. this point, got to be. Yeah. This is very Apple esque, it's isn't a standard. it? They got a tablet, Pixel tablet coming next year. Mm hmm. Would you say Google has learned something from Apple here about an event? Bombard you with hardware. Right. People really want hardware. That's what it is. You can talk about your software features. Right. And they can be cool. And guys like Willie Do can think about it, talk about it, dream about it. But in general, it's hardware. People mm -hmm. go, wow, that's a new thing that didn't exist before. Wow, that's a new object I can possibly pre interact with, interact with, yeah. buy at a later date, recommend to a friend. Mm hmm it's just different when you can touch and feel it, when you can hold Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. And so Google really brought it. I don't know that I can think of another I.O. where they previewed so, so much many. hardware. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, there's a Tensor-powered tablet coming. Again, it's very early stage as far as what it will be, but it's been a long time since we had a Pixel tablet. Mm -hmm. And then this is the part I was talking about with the uh, the glasses. 
This is like some kind of real time trans transcription. Yeah. And you can see the, the setting is set to English here. This is kind of conceptual, I guess. You should be seeing what I'm saying just transcribed for you in real time. Now, presumably, you could switch that language as well, right? Yep, yep. And that creates a pretty cool scenario. Now, this there's Very cool. there's a suggestion here that this could be the makings of a, a Google Glass 2, which is, <clears throat> that feels like 100 years ago so at this point. So long ago. When people were having that chat. I mm -hmm. don't even know if you were around here when people were having that no, chat. I was too young. <laughs> Still too young. Still too young. <laughs> but people, that, that was so early days that there was nervousness around mm -hmm. having a recording device on your face, augmented reality in general, right. was unfamiliar. Uh, but this could be... It wasn't that good either at the time. Limited right, application. Yeah. yeah. Ahead of its time, maybe, mm -hmm. in terms of what people were ready for with wearables. Like, you're right. going to have this on your face all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Willie Doo's bringing up uh, some images of what it looked like. It was uh, quite a thing. Yeah. It was a little bit cyborg looking, but but kind of legendary in the space, even though I'm not sure you would call it a success. No, I don't think so. As far as adoption is concerned. But still very cool. And well, it's also cool. great to see companies trying new things. But the glasses they're showing off at I.O. with the transcription being on, uh, on the side. Now, obviously, you would need glasses yourself in order to see that, mm -hmm. to have this conversation. But these look like regular glasses, mm -hmm. right? More or less. Yeah. So that's going to be a key Just right like there. Classic Ray-Ban type. Yeah. Shout out, Legend. Appreciate the super chat. Well, Ray-Ban has their own too. Right? Well, you got the Ray you got With the Meta, uh, Meta Facebook, oh, okay. you got the Zuckerberg stories, which mm -hmm. Willie Doo's number one fan over there. Mm -hmm. Which is actually another example of uh, software companies like Snapchat and Meta leaning into the hardware business. Mm. They're leaning. leaning. They're leaning hard leaning. Yeah. into he's, the hardware. He's an analyst. <laughs> he knows when actually, a company, Lou, you're gonna love this. If a company leans, Mo's gonna know about it. <laughs> If you scroll up, Will. You talk about Google Lens? Yeah, that but they cool. like yeah. really improved it and added these like cool features. The example they're they're using in, in this uh, image over here was if you had to buy uh, like nut-free dark chocolate or something like that, and you're at the grocery store, you can put your phone to it oh, and cool. it will tell you which one. Like remember when you opened the show with the 5% or 15% thing? Let's go. You could just take a picture and be like, show me the ones under 5%. Let's go. And it will highlight the ones like it's doing over here, like 97% matching your criteria. That's really cool to me. That's super cool and real life use for it. Wouldn't you guys agree? <laughs> I'm looking they around. Are. You're on fire. You're on fire, Mo. No one wants to get in your way. All right. No one wants to get in your way there. I don't know, man. That, you was, were blazing. that was super cool. You were blazing a trail. They were, it was dangerous to get in your way there. Right. right. The way you handled that. This is amazing. This is fantastic. I mean, this is uh, a way. I like that you brought up the uh, the nut thing because it's near and dear to our heart with right. Mr. Willie Do. Mm -hmm. He got to go to the grocery store, deal with this stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Another example they used was like in medication. If you're in the pharmacy aisle, you can select like scent free or mm. not these side effects. And like in your phone, you can like see real life. It's so cool to me. Very how, helpful. Yeah. How are they um, like translating the data? Is it QR code? Like, I don't understand. So they're like grabbing the image, mm -hmm. finding out what the product is, and then checking what the product entails and then giving you a score in real time. It's quite amazing. Google is is mapping the image of the wrapper. That's it. That's all they need. Back. There's no QR. So, You're pointing it at the whole shelf in this case. But, yeah. But then it's it's getting the information from Google. Well, they Absolutely. from their websites yeah. and, and yeah. then it's get, it's it's going and finding the information. Of course, on the you can see what what was being selected there is highly rated. Right. So it even goes beyond. You're looking at the rating of the different chocolates. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to pick up that 97 right there. I of course. I'll try it out. I got Google Lens. I don't think this is available yet. I don't know if it's available. Oh, this is a different software. Well, at IO sometimes Just announced. They're, they're talking about future stuff. Oh. Yeah. You know, so. That's not fair. 
What are you talking about, man? Why, why I can't use it? What am I going to be It's a developers' this? conference, so they try to get developers excited about things that they can build using this new technology. But this will happen eventually. Of course, going to happen. Yeah, Sometimes they're I feel working like they talk on it. About no, stuff no, 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 no. Well, now that they have your blessing and interest, <laughs> they're going to rush this one to market. I like instant gratification, mm -hmm. so I'd go Whoa. to the store right now and try it, but now. Mm -hmm. I've well, lost that luster. Well, uh, maybe <laughs> maybe I can interest you in some Coca Cola vanilla with coffee. Great, that's segue. the best I yeah, can do for you. Wanna, I'm thirsty. Uh, all right, last piece highlighted here is the focus on privacy. Google tries to show it's serious about user privacy. Google had a set of security and privacy announcements, including plans for the My Ad Center interface, a hub that will let users customize the type of ads they see by selecting from a range of topics they are interested in, or opt out to see fewer ads on a given topic. It also said the company's focused on implementing additional security features for its products by default in addition to the concept of protected computing to do more processing on device rather than sending data elsewhere this is very apple-esque which mm -hmm. is not such a bad thing like i think apple they're the masters of these keynotes they're the masters of interaction with their users and fans and customers and why wouldn't you learn something from that this is something I think okay, you'll love. Okay, you got one more, Mo. I've got, I've got one more. You, did you see this, uh, nope. the immersive map thing? Not yeah. at all. It's, it's essentially you can go and look at that. That's, that's UK, <laughs> all right? That's London. So you have the map view, but now you can like go immersive and see like the 3D render of the place. So it's beyond, like this is not street view for the record. No, no, no. This, this is, is a, co a composite, like that looks like a virtual. Exactly. Uh, they call it an immersive view. Okay. And uh, um, <laughs> in in the I, in the Google I.O., the guy was explaining that like if you wanted to just check the weather, I don't know how how updated it is, but he was saying that you could check the weather in real time, which is just crazy to me. How do they do that? Mm -hmm. I saw another example of this where... Um, you go into a restaurant and it's fully rendered. Yes. I think mainly because it's like there's photos of the restaurant and uh -huh. then you can get to see the layout. Which was very cool yeah. because the the uh, image or the video they, they showed off in their I.O. was it looked like a drone shot. Did you mm -hmm. see it? Yeah, yeah. And he was later explaining that it wasn't a drone shot. This is just them stitching images together uh -huh. and making it feel so immersive that it felt like you were flying through the restaurant. Well, mm. what I like about this, even from the sky here, is that like, I see in this particular image, they highlighted, it looks like a restaurant or a bar down yeah. there. The crow and the, I can't read crab. it. The crow and the crab. It, trying to figure out where you need to be in relationship to a landmark. Mm -hmm. Like. Across the street from the clock. Big Ben, yeah. Big Ben. Exactly. But now to see it in 3D space, you know kind of exactly where in relationship to the bridge, to the, to the mm -hmm. tower, to the clock tower, to everything. In immersive, you can be easier to situate yourself before yeah. getting there yeah no it was very cool which I like a flat map is obviously not it kind of makes the world like a video game as well the weather thing's interesting as well mm -hmm. cool